How to create an expense tracker in Excel. Good day folks and welcome to the channel. I'm going to show you how to set up this Excel spreadsheet that I've done right over here. I'm going to take you through every little step and then you will be able to track all of your expenses throughout your day, throughout your week, throughout your month and throughout your year. So let's jump straight in. The first thing you want to do is open up a new spreadsheet and we're going to name it expense tracker so we're going to go up over here on the top left hand side and you can see that it says book six we're going to go expense tracker and you can hit enter now, i'm using the web site version of the excel program However, if you are using the desktop app, it will look much the same. The features will all be the same. You might just have a slight difference in terms of where some of the function keys are. So going now onto the actual sheet, you can see I have got a big heading over here and it says creating an expense tracker. If you would like to do this for creating an expense tracker, perhaps for January, February, March, or whatever other month, then you're gonna put there the month, and over here, instead of having the months, you will have the days of the month, so you can enter that information like that. If you wanna do it as a weekly thing, you can do so too. You can say week one, and then you can have the seven days, and so forth. So really, you can design it in the way, really, that you would like to do it. So the first thing you wanna do then is go ahead and you want to type out that heading and up over here there is a merge button so what you'll have to do is tap on that merge button and you're going to select all the cells that your text is in and once you do so you'll see that it actually creates one big cell where you can put that heading in the next thing you want to do is start typing out your months and if you just type out the first two months and then you put your cursor over the little square on the bottom right hand side of the cells that have been selected you'll get that cursor and you're going to click down and go across and it'll actually auto fill all of those months for you over there the next thing you want to do over here is put in a couple of your expense categories so i have housing fuel, utilities, medical, leisure, entertainment, equipment, and then I have other, and that'll basically cover anything else that doesn't solidly fit into a category. The next thing you want to do is on the right hand side, you want to create a total column. And at the bottom of your table, you want to create a total column over there. Then what you're going to do is you're going to have this cell over here, you're going to select that and you're going to go up to your toolbar and you're going to tap on the auto sum. It looks like a backwards E. You're going to tap on that and then once you've tapped on that, the formula as you see it there will appear in that block. And then you're going to just select all of these cells over here and you're going to hit enter. Now what will happen basically is the sum of all of these cells will actually be totaled in this cell over here. And then just to drag that formula across, you're going to do the same thing as you did with the dates. You're going to go ahead, hover your cursor over the corner of that cell. And you're going to click down and you're going to drag it across and it will now drag that sum across we're going to do the same on the right hand side underneath total so this cell over here shows the total for housing for every month of the year and you're going to do the same over here so you're going to select that cell you're going to tap on the auto sum on the top of your toolbar and then you're going to select all of these items here and you're going to hit enter and this is what it will now look like one of the other things that i've done in fact is i've selected all of the total blocks over here and you can just hold control in and you can drag along and you can select everything all at once and then you can right click on it and you can go down to number format and you can see over here that I've actually created it as currency. So you can tap on currency over here, you can choose your symbol and then you can also choose how many decimal places you want. Of course we want two decimal places because we were working in currency and you're going to tap OK. Now you can see that that's what our format looks like and we are now ready to enter in some data. So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and add housing. We're going to put in there $2,000. And then we're going to go ahead for February as well. And we're going to put in there $2,000. Now, if you go ahead and you select these two and you use that drag, you know that if you're paying the same amount for housing um, every month, we're going to go ahead and we're going to just 
drag that across and that's two thousand dollars and that stays as it is we're going to just open this column slightly over here and then for fuel so let's say for the first month you spend four hundred dollars second month we spend five hundred dollars and so forth we can go ahead now and fill up the data and again the utilities you're going to go ahead and you can see um, that should more or less stay the same uh, there might be slight fluctuations in the actual um, amount of money that you're paying in utilities but you get that they may fluctuate but it is more or less the same medical you might be paying a hundred dollars every month and again I'm just using this for example purposes leisure you might be going in at 200 this month you might skimp a little bit on February and so forth and then running into entertainment you might be going in at two hundred dollars maybe fifty dollars maybe sixty dollars and so forth and then having a look at equipment i put this in here because i like to buy equipment for um, cameras so i just want to go ahead and i want to be nice and say a hundred and two hundred and i want to go ahead and be naughty and say four hundred and then other we're going to go a thousand dollars and this as i said earlier on this could be anything that doesn't properly fit into a category over here so once you've populated your expense tracker, you will see now that, for example, housing at $2,000 over every month of the year, your total will be $24,000. Going again into fuel, you'll see the total over there of all those numbers is $5,400. And so it goes on. So as you can see here, you can have a look in January. This is all that you spent and your total is 4200 so of course you would now like to make sure that all of these numbers actually square up so what you're going to do is you are going to select this block over here and you are going to again tap on the auto sum button and it'll now auto sum all the numbers above that you're going to hit enter and that is how much you've spent in total for the entire year of 2023 now again i want to state that you can do this for a month you can also do this for a week and you can do this for a year so you can pretty much use the same technique and the same layout to do your expense tracking for any time period that you'd like and then what you can do is you can take this total and then you can then do a three year five year ten year expense and you can see how much you spend each and every year you can also backtrack this and if you're making one for every month let's say this is for January you're gonna have this total over here and then what you can do is take that total and put it into the expense tracker for your year and you can do that with every month so you can start small and you can build an entire expense tracker all on microsoft excel i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to drop us a like you can leave a comment if you have any questions and we'll see you in another awesome video happy expense tracking people Bye bye <laughs>